Hi everyone, welcome back to Candid Perspectives. In today's episode, we'll be interviewing the cast of Press Play Media's newest short film, Breaking Point. Now, let's let the cast introduce themselves. I am Angel Fortune, also known as the character Maya. My name is Anthony Jules and I play Derek. Hi, my name is Eva McLean and I was Ricardo in the short film. All right, so jumping into the first question, what was the inspiration behind the production? Okay, <laughs> the inspiration basically, Jules brought across the idea to me that he had this plan, this, this idea, you know, and I was like, all right, cool, and we talk about it, and well, we, we talk about it, and whatever is the case, and we script it out, and we say, yeah, who will be the actors who will be portraying this, and the, the project and we wanted to start off something for our brand press play media and when he brought across the idea he was like yeah that's perfect okay so when you got the idea what um was the filming process like with um writing and casting and then finding the time to film and edit how was how did that whole process go Right. Um, that process was actually a very quick one, in a way. Mm. We, even and I had a brief meeting, and we said we wanted to get it done as quick as possible. Right. So the day right after we started planning, we developed the storyline. The storyline was the basic storyline was already true, not by me, and he and I developed everything, and we came up with the script. After that, we had a discussion. Uh, it was about people, potential people who will be able to play the um, roles that were available. And we had a joint discussion about it and also made joint decisions about the people. And we were very proud of those decisions. Everyone, everyone did very well. Mm. And we did production the weekend after. And everything ran very smoothly as planned. Okay. Well, that does actually. Okay, so since everything ran smoothly, right? What would you say was the biggest challenge that you faced through the whole process? Well, the fact that this was the first time we're doing something like this. Well, me and Jules always had collaborations where we did short videos, we did little small series like what happened that night and all these kind of things. Right. But this is our first actual film, okay? This is going to be however long, 20 to 25 minutes even, you know? Yeah. Um. So it being the first time, it was like, some, somewhat it was like second nature from our, our, you know, experience before. And after that, it was just like second nature. We went and we did it. And then we picked up on certain things. You know, but it wasn't so difficult. For me, one of the, one of the, well, Ivan and I also picked up on this and it was a challenge. And I was at major for, for that because of improper planning and some bad management. We had a minor issue where like throughout the film, well, as Ivan said, we did, it was a first time project. So, what we initially planned was to do all filming on one day. And we didn't expect that to be such a heavy load, but it actually was. So when it reached a certain point at the day after doing so much of takes and so much of cuts and moving about so much, it we became kind of fatigued to extend some of us. And throughout the film, you could have seen that quality was slowly dropped as it progressed because we gave our full at the start when everybody was fully energized yeah. and our minds were still fresh so that was one challenge we had it was really a challenge where just we didn't really expect it to happen because as he said it was our first time project so that we were able to apply to our further or um upcoming projects 
Gotcha. Um, so Angel, as you being a cast member, what would you say was your favorite scene to shoot? <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> so I guess this is gonna be good. Um, my favorite scene to shoot was probably the scene inside the bedroom with the two girls. Right. The friend scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was one of my favorites. Also, the conflict between me and Ricardo, the character, that was one of my favorites also. So the two scenes of my favorites. Any other reason why? Or... Yeah, well, I was about to ask with, for which reason, the content itself or like who you were doing it with? The content for the boat. Mm -hmm. um, really the people make the scene enjoyable to shoot like the two girls it was it had a nice energy shooting it and plus i like a little conflict to be seen with me and ricardo curling i didn't like that because okay. i like a little back and all all right nice so would you all say that everybody got along on set like was there good chemistry between cast me Well, the, um, the process with the casting, we really try to keep it as realistic as possible. You know? Yeah. We really try to keep it because of the content and the seriousness of it, we really try to keep it as realistic as possible. So when we pick those people, even people that we didn't know who could act, and we just like, you know, he come here for this city, for this particular thing, yeah. and then, he end up, you know, showing his face in the film, and he was excellent. Even some other people like Ria, um, come come first time seeing Ria, and it was excellent. The chemistry was good. The chemistry was good. Asking the flip of what I asked Angel to choose, what was the most difficult scene to shoot? The most difficult scene to shoot was actually the scene with Angel and Haven. That was the third scene. That was the third scene because mm -hmm. mainly we had issues with um, audio. So we weren't really aware of how the room affected the audio of the scene. And we weren't too happy with how it came out, but we were satisfied to that extent. Right. But that was a kind of difficult scene to shoot, especially how we wanted certain angles, certain um takes the lighting wasn't as best so we the person who helped us out to lighten he had a lot of work to do yeah uh, like if if everything was seen behind the scenes which we tried to get but everybody was involved so if you was to like see how everything went together for together scene done we try our best and it came out as best as we could with what we had and the energy we had remaining so that was a it was a slightly difficult scene to shoot, mm. but it still came out pretty decent. Wow. Well, I'm actually surprised to hear that because I actually thought that was like one of the best scenes in the entire film. And I really enjoyed that one the most. So I was actually surprised to hear that was the um, most difficult one to shoot. Um, kind of bungee jumping off of that. What was some of the funniest moments while you know trying to get this project done well for that as we said the cast everybody had a good chemistry a great chemistry so it was our all wrong fun experience and we start because when i picked up a few of the actors because i was on the east side and as one came in the vehicle we started to talk already everything was good a good vibe already we reached there we start we had problems, we had to do over certain scenes, people made mistakes in lines, everything was enjoyable, it was funny. We, we, everybody had a laugh after, like during takes, where we took breaks, we, had, we um, talked, everybody had a conversation, we just did things, so we spoke to each other, and it was just fun all around, everything, because the cast was a very good a bunch of people. We had a good chemistry, but it was good with each other to say. 
even Ria, Ria didn't stay for the full thing. And she said, when she saw the pictures that we took after, she said she wished she did stay longer, but she had some stuff to do. And it was a great experience for the cast in general. Okay, so since everybody was, you know, all friendly and really got along, was it then difficult to get into character and start up conflict for the sake of the film, despite being so good off camera? It wasn't, it wasn't difficult because at the same time, everybody came, everybody came laughing, everybody came, you know, everybody knew everybody from, you know, so it had that, it had that, like, it didn't have like a pressure there. I'll speak for myself, it didn't have a pressure there. But at the same time, everybody in mind that, okay, we have something to do. We know we come here for, yeah. all right? We know the script, we hand everybody the script. I'm not by the case, and we had something to do. So the professionalism was there. The professionalism was there. So yeah. That's good. Um, see, and now this was um a very heavy topic to deal with. You know, suicide is very serious, a uh, very real thing that a lot of people experience. Um, Jules. In terms of getting into that headspace, how was that process? And was it very difficult? And was it heavy for you to be, you know, to put your mind in those places? It was not a difficult process at all, because I would say to extent, even though it was a film, a story, and a lot of people also commented on the fact that it was a relatable piece. Mm -hmm. And my, I myself, I, I probably could have related to some of the things that happened in the film. So just thinking about it, for example, the pandemic period, people were very restrained on what they could have done. Schooling, some people don't like the online schooling at all. So it was a very difficult transition from real life to online and some people could not have coped with it because it came very hard on them and suddenly also so it was a strain on many of us and i miss you so myself because i'm also a student and at points in time where the work became overwhelming and then along with personal life you know we dealing with certain things hearing on hearing every day this thing not going away, the virus not going away, people are passing away, we mm -hmm. hear stories of people struggling, who lost their job, who don't, who have families, who can't see their family, people from away who can't come back in, people who lost family from away and not able to see them, people who actually lost family members in the country itself and they said they could not, could not have given them a proper favor because they had to discard the body. Mm -hmm. So if I was able to put myself in those in those situations and think about how I would have felt. Um, that helped me reach to the mindset um, to help me get into character, to feel the way I felt to be able to portray the character and his emotions. Wow. That's really good. And well, this is my final question. Um, this one is for Angel and anybody who else, anybody else that wants to answer it. What would you say, well, is there anything that you would do differently, like from the start of the production process, when they casted you to the end and, you know, when the film itself was produced, is there anything you would have done differently? Um, yes, watching over the, the film, the short film, it has some things that I say I would have done differently in my character itself, although it was a portrait, how it should have been portrayed. I just find things personally I didn't do. Mm -hmm. I didn't portray as much as, as I should, emotion-wise, and that is basically the only thing. Wow. I, well, I, I, again, I will say, I think that the entire thing I, was amazing. I, I, as I said before, I watched it with my sister and she actually told me 
that you were her favorite performer she said that she really felt the emotions from you so i mean i know it's easy for us to criticize ourselves because we're looking at ourselves but i just wanted to let you know that she actually said that you were like one of the best in the um film so i just thought you should know okay thank you i appreciate it yeah. okay i will add by saying yes she was she really did well and it really hard so that's sometimes you had to look from the outside in, you know? And so it was like a playing ground to Ryan question. So it's like a playground for everybody who wanted to act. Had people there who had equipment who was into videography. You know, Jules and I want to do this directing thing. So coming on it was like, okay, this is something I want to do. You know, I want to see the results. I want to see the results and know where. I could go better and I have so many places where me and Jules could sit down and be like, we could have do this better, you yeah. know? And have to take a note of that and these things, so you know, when we're coming back, you know? So yeah, that's for me. Um, Jules, you want to speak quickly on the um, editing process? What um, kind of turnover are we looking at here? Was this done in, you know, three days, two days a week? The editing was very well done. I must see myself I'm watching. And so I'm just interested in how long that took and what the process was like. It was done, not it wasn't done within a few days. It was probably done um I wouldn't say exactly. Um it was done during a very variety of points in time, point of time. During the days, sitting days, where I got time to do it because well, I also work and stuff. And I think I was still, I think school was still going on, so I had to balance the time and stuff. So it was a lot of late night editing. Even I did stuff, I sent, I sent it after finish a scene, I would have sent it to Haven. He would have viewed it, he would have had his input on what I could have done. And a lot of what, a lot of what he had to say, even though I did the editing. With his guidance, it made the film as good as it, it as it did came out editing wise. Because he had a lot of good input, which I appreciated. Because I had some things when he really pointed out to me, I was like, yeah, boy, that could actually work out real good. And that's why I'm happy that he's my partner because we have that kind of communication with between each other. Mm -hmm. We have an understanding of what we want to do and how we want to do it to get to the best. So with him, it, it made it easier. So I didn't have to make certain decisions on my own. And it's always good, it's always good to have a different inputs on what you're doing sometimes because other people would, wouldn't see exactly how you've seen it. And you wouldn't see it as how other people will see it until it's done. Yeah. So during that point in time, the editing, it took a while because well, my software, well, my equipment was on the best. So I had to work with what I had. Um, it was good to edit, as I say, I like, I like to do editing and stuff, so it was fun to edit because seeing how things coming out the way I saw it, I wanted it to be, along with it getting better with input with, with Haven and also me doing things differently. It was an enjoyable process, especially when I finished and I could have watched the final produce, sent it out and I got the response that I was expecting and also things, and it was also something that we could have watched and said, yeah, it's kind of been done different, it's kind of done better. If we had this, if we did do this, can I edit this better? If this would have come in real good with this, you know? So yeah, yeah, it was done like, I would say it was like a few hours every day for like two weeks. A few, few hours every day for like two weeks because we had to do two scenes additionally, like two weeks after the first day. Right, and, and that was finished off like two days after we did the final shooting. Gotcha. Okay. Well, and um, I think I I'm glad you commented on your your and Haven's communication. I think that y'all working as a team, it works well. 
it seems to have always worked well and so you know i hope for the best for y'all going forward because i think that you are on something good and i think that y'all work together well and you produce things of high quality and that are very entertaining so just keep it up to add, to add, thanks, 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 Kenya. I really appreciate that. And to add to what you also said, like, all they hear that song, Jack, for that film. Like, y'all heard, like, every sound and everything. Y'all felt that. I don't know if it's just me. Yeah. I, mean, I actually don't know if it's just me. Like, other than the visuals and all this kind of thing. Like, Jules really amazed me with that song, Jack, because I was like, wow. Yeah. You know? That really adds it. Mm -hmm. That really adds it. His editing. And even though, as you said, he had little challenges with his software and stuff like that, but he made the best out of it. Yeah. Best out of it. Yeah. yeah. Not everything, like, it was just really good. <laughs> Look at Juice blushing. No, like. It was like, wow. It was like, wow. But we better to come. For sure, we promise, you know, that we mm -hmm. better to come. I am just excited for what is to come in the future. I um, would like to thank all the viewers at home for tuning in. And this concludes this episode. Yeah. The link for the short film will be in the description. Yes. Thank you all so much for coming. And we hope that we see more from you very soon because I'm very excited. Me, myself, I'm very excited. This show, yeah.